Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 14th of September, Holy Mother, the Church calls us to the triumph of the cross. On the day of Good Friday, we looked at the cross and venerated the cross. We looked at the sorrow of Christ. But today, we are not looking at the sorrow of Christ. We are looking at the cross as a cross of triumph, as a sign of glory as an instrument of salvation. Today, cross stands to us as a sign and symbol of victory, of life over death, of love over hatred, of mercy over justice. And dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today the cross stands to us as a symbol of the glory of God through Christ His Son. Today let us reflect upon Saint Nodburga. Saint Nodburga was born during the 12th century and she was the daughter of a poor peasant, a poor farmer. She took the job as a maid servant under Count Henry of Rattenburg and there she was not only working for the count, but also doing a lot of service. What service can a maid servant do? Whatever leftover was there, she used to go and give to the poor. And by doing so, she was finding that satisfaction of life. Sometimes not only uh, the leftovers, she used to give much more to the poor. And this came into the notice of Othelia, the wife of the count. And Obviously, she'll not like it, and she ousted this maid servant from the position she had. She went on to become one of the helps of a poor farmer, and uh, there she was known for her miracles. Yes, people used to flock to her, for they found that the grace of God was upon her. And in the meanwhile, the wife of Count Henry died and he was in huge losses and lot of things were happening against him and that's when uh, he went and bought back uh, this maid servant of his Saint Nodburga and she continued to do her service to the Lord from the place where she was. What does she stand for? today to us. She stands to us as a symbol of effort and not excuses. So many people give so many excuses. They tell we don't have time, we have so much of work, we are held up with things, you don't know how we are. We are spending 30 hours per day doing so many things. But what God wants from you is not your excuses, dear. God wants your efforts. He knows you are busy, but He wants you. He knows you have so many things, but still He wants you. He wants you. Saint Nodboga, she didn't have money for herself. She was a maid servant, but she didn't give excuses to God. She gave her efforts and the Lord accepted her efforts and he blessed her. May the Lord bless her efforts. Amen.